Douglas Holtz Aiken. So what do you? What's it about tonight? Brains, <laughs> knowledge, personality, politics, credibility, ideology, or composure? Uh, it's it's about knowledge of the middle class. It's about connecting a real middle class experience, which is hers, a working mother, uh, Todd Palin, who has worked three jobs because uh, had to make uh, ends meet for the family, versus the sort of artificial arugula style middle class that's being espoused what's by. What's an arugula middle class? An arugula middle class is if you walk around talking the talk, but you're going to raise taxes, have 800 billion dollars in spending, and, and have a recipe for disaster what for the middle arugula? class. What is arugula? Some kind of salad, isn't it? Uh, I think it's Barack's favorite food. And why do you bring this? <laughs> up you're saying that joe biden's an elitist uh, i don't I think, think so i think i mean come on we have joe seen, biden's an elitist we have seen them last week try very hard to claim the middle class mantle but the policies they have are bad for the middle class sarah palin understands their what? issues yeah, you know i love the, the new there. slurs when they arrive what is an arugula middle class uh it, it's a, a a not very real middle class the real middle class is not eating arugula is this like this the, the, the brie and chablis and the latest version of that elitism are you is this the cultural issue you guys are going to raise tonight no, this she's is, one of us, this and is, he's not. This is about uh, literally connecting with the, the okay. pressing problems facing America. Okay. Do you think these informational questions that uh, Katie Couric's been asking have been fair? Like, what do you read? Give me a sense of your knowledge of the Supreme Court and its history. Are they fair questions? Uh, every question is fair. I mean, you don't uh, go, those you fair? don't run for. Uh, yeah, okay. these are fair. Are the and answers she gave good ones. Uh, she chose uh, out of two hours of interviews some questions and answers that may not have been the best. We'll get to see Sarah Palin live tonight, and she'll knock him down. So dead. she edited out the good stuff. You're we're, gonna, saying, we're, we're very confident that tonight Are you get saying to that CBS her. deliberately edited out the good answers? Uh, we believe that there were uh, there were uh, excellent answers throughout those two hours that could have been put on TV. We saw what we saw. Let me ask you, do you think you guys will raise the tax issue tonight? I'm betting you will. Heavy uh, and early. Uh, absolutely. This is a recipe for disaster. It's, it's a bad idea. Barack Obama himself has said it's a bad idea. But they have an ideological commitment to doing things that are going to damage small business. I don't think most people know. In this economy, bad shape, small businesses have uh, created 331,000 jobs this year. It's businesses with 15 right. fewer employees. Why would you go after them? It makes what, no what sense. What was the jobless rate when uh, Republicans took office in 2001? Uh, truth is, I don't remember. It was 4.2%. What is it, it, it. going to be tomorrow? Uh, right now, it's, it's at 6.1%. we are going to go north of that So, tomorrow. in other words, unemployment's risen under the Republicans. We have seen unemployment go up recently. And it's risen we in the last five that. years. Well, no doubt about well, it. What, what's wrong with the old Ronald Reagan question? Are you better off than you were four or eight years ago. What's wrong with that question? Because they're not running against George Bush. They're running against a guy who is, uh, despite their best efforts to run against George Bush, they're running against someone who's tangled with George Bush on a regular uh, basis. They're running with someone who desperately understands that we need to be free of our reliance on imported oil. A big right. part of our trouble this year, rising unemployment comes from oil going to 140. Has George Bush done a good job in the economy? Uh, George Bush has left us with the economy that you see. Are you happy? No. Well, nobody is, but I'm just asking you. I just think have Republican policies been good for the country economically. Oh, we know that uh, the spending was uh, out of control, hand over fist. That's that's a so that's Republican a mistake. policies have failed the last eight years. Th those parts of Republican policies have failed. There's no question. Is that a, it's hard to say re up us, give us another lease on life if we've failed after eight years? That's a hard argument to make, isn't it? I think it's a very straightforward argument to make. John it's McCann, hard. Jo yes, but it's it's the real argument because this is about the future. This is about mm. having genuine leadership skills. I mean, we know the records. Barack Obama has never crossed his party or his political backers to cast a tough vote. John McCain has. Uh, we know that there are okay. hard issues and entitlements. Jack Welch places. was on. Jack Welch was on Morning Joe the, yesterday morning. I heard him, and he predicted a fourth quarter from hell. In other words, the last quarter of this year is going to be deep negative growth. In other words, the beginnings of a deep entrenched recession. Is that a good result of eight years of Republican rule to leave this country with a deep, deep recession? One of the is things, that a good thing to brag about? There's nothing good about a recession, and no one should brag about it. But one of the reasons John McCain went suspended his campaign, went back to Washington to try to deal with this credit crunch is we have real pain out in the economy right now. There are there are uh, dry cleaners, there are car dealers, there are people who rely on short-term loans to simply make their payrolls. It's not available, and if we don't deal with it and address it, we're going to have a fourth quarter of this from hell. How's the fiscal policy of John McCain differ from that of George W. Bush? The uh, fiscal policy. He will not spend money. Uh, he will not. He voted against the prescription drug bill. You can't blow up entitlements if you're not going to have them paid for. He's not going to have discretionary spending uh, be $180 billion higher than it would have been 
if we just stuck to the Clinton era budget balance agreement in 1997. That's a disaster. So George W. Bush was wrong on fiscal policy. John McCain is right. John McCain is right on fiscal and policy. And George Bush was wrong. Well, he should have controlled spending. Okay, thank you very much. You're an honest thank man. You. You're a big case. Thank you. Douglas Holtz Egan. Less than 90 minutes to go now before the big debate between Joe Biden and Sarah Palin. Up next, what to look for tonight. This is Hardball live in St. Louis, only on MSNBC.